my buddy, Congressman Louie Gomert. I thought you left me for the other host, to be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mark, you're the brain when it comes to the Constitution. How uh, are you, brother? Uh, you're the best, man. Uh, well, I, uh, you know, the president's out there saying we got to pass the jobs bill, pass the jobs bill. As you know, I, I filed one when he didn't have one filed. There's no way he could know what's in his bill. I mean, he didn't stay up from 11 p.m. to 5 a.m. like I did going through it. But for him to be out there saying we're going after millionaires and billionaires, and most of your audience is very smart. I do hear those that are not calling him, but the yeah. most of it, they know. But he's saying millionaires and billionaires, and you look in the bill, and the people that are going to have to pay more than ever are is anybody married paying one hundred twenty-five thousand dollars? All right, stop, than... stop, Louie, stop right there. I want to get this clear. You've looked at the president's bill, and you're saying anybody married? How much? Hundred twenty-five thousand dollars. It's on page thirty, one hundred and thirty-five of his bill. What happens to them? Uh, their deductions are limited to 28%, and then there's a really weird formula after that. It's long and protracted, but, but it takes away deductions if you make more than 125000 If you married filing jointly, then you have the combined 250 Now, on the other hand, if you're single living together, you can claim 200000 exemption, and if you're single claiming at a household, it's 225 So I didn't know if that was maybe his. Is uh, the, what he was throwing out for for gays living together? Look, see, you say you can have a seventy-five dollars. All right, but let, I, I just want to get this straight. I want to get this straight. Uh, the, sure. the, the lowest denomination, one hundred twenty-five thousand dollars. Right. If, if, you're, if married, you're married, you're going to have your deductions limited. Is that that's correct? Correct. That's correct. Exactly. So now, people who earn a, a, a couple that earns a, a married couple that earns one hundred twenty-five thousand dollars a year, they're now millionaires and billionaires. That's right. That's right. They're they're millionaires. Uh, that's apparently the way it's defined. And everybody's heard him talk about major oil. You know, big oil. They having these unseemly profits. We're going after them. He's never read page one hundred fifty-one to one hundred fifty-four of his bill because if he did. Well, he still might not know. You've got to know that those deductions that devastate the oil companies are only, <laughs> they only can be taken by the independent oil producers. They can't be taken by majors, like if they produce more than 100, uh, I'm sorry, 1,000 barrels of oil a day. You know, the, the, the ones they're limiting can't take the, the, the biggest deductions there. And, you know, people that have invested in oil wells know that, you know, an oil company independent can't go out and get a loan to, to drill an oil well. So you get people to invest. Well, they eliminate the pass-through deduction for what All right, listen, Louie, we're going to have a break. I do not want you to hang up. I want to hone in a little bit more so I can understand a little better the differentiation you're making between the bigger oil companies and the smaller ones. So back to Louie Gomert. Louie, what are you saying, that the small, the smaller independent oil companies are screwed here? What are you saying? And I'm Louis saying Gomer? whoever yeah. drafted this bill declared war on independent oil and gas producers, 94, and they'll be wiped out. They'll, they're, you know, they're going to have... Now tell uh, us why. Well, first of all, you eliminate the deductions which allow them to be competitive. Any other industry gets to deduct the cost of doing business. Right. You eliminate a big hunk of their cost of doing business with the deductions that are repealed, page 151 to 154 of his bill. And then the real kicker for independents, since they have to get people to invest, it eliminates, repeals the deduction that can pass through to working interest owners, people that invest in the wells, that give them the capital to go out and drill. If it's a success, you know, they get money back from the well, but most of the time it's not. That's why you can't go get a Louis. bank loan to do it. This so is anyway, this is it will wipe out the independence, which means he badmouths the majors. They will make so much more profit doing drilling the same amount because he puts the independence out of business. Louis, this is economic suicide. Well, but you would love, you know, since the FCC didn't get enough control of the radio waves and a lot of folks are going to broadband, he creates in his so-called jobs bill the Public Safety Broadband Corporation. He appoints 
basically the the board of directors, even though it's defined as a private non-profit uh, corporation, they'll control your broadband. What you get, uh, you'll be thrilled with that. And if you like Fanny and Freddie and how well they did, he creates the American Infrastructure Financing Authority that will do the financing. For all right, look, we're running out of time. He does all this in the so-called jobs That's bill? the so-called jobs bill. And if you don't get hired for a job because you think it's because you're unemployed, you now have a claim you can get a lawyer and go after the employer that didn't hire you because you think you're, it was because you're that I, that I heard before. Let me tell you something, Louie. Thank God you're out there. <clears throat> and that you uh, obviously have a lot of time on your hands to read this legislation that Obama has. But what you've told us, Louie, is really fascinating. And keep listening, uh, Congressman Louis Gomer, my dear friend, because I'm going to emphasize it in the next hour, okay? Well, God great. bless you, man. He's a good man, really good man.